Hello. Our lesson today is lesson 5-6 and it's called multiplying by multiples of 10. The problem on the screen right now is an example of the kind of problems we solved today. Five, uh, 50 times 30 and I showed the students a quick trick to solve these kinds of problems and we're going to talk a lot more about this. But basically if you have a problem like 50 times 3, you can solve a basic fact. 5 times 3. We know 5 times 3, that's 15. So we write 15 and then we stick a 0 at the end. Anytime you're multiplying by multiples of 10, you can use that trick using the basic facts. You've already learned basic multiplication facts. Today you will use those basic facts and patterns with 0 to multiply by multiples of 10. What are some things that might come in groups of 10? I thought about dining room chairs or bunches of bracelets. Other students talked about candy that would come or in a pack of 10 or batteries. 5 times 30 was a problem we started with and we were able to solve using repeated addition. So you could do 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 or you could use that trick that I was showing students. We learned 5 times 30 is 150. 2 times 40. Pause the video if you need to to figure this out. 2 times 40, the basic fact to use is 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Put a 0 at the end of 8 and it turns into 80. So 2 times 4 is 80. At the bottom of the screen, 9 times 20 is the last one we did as a class. <clears throat> 9 times 2 is 18. Put a 0 at the end of 18, you have 180. We were looking at how basic facts can be used to solve these problems. That's what the underlining is for. Tried a few more with the class. And then we talked again about the steps to solve multiplying with multiples of 10. Find the product of the basic fact, add a zero after the product. So in the problem 2 times 30, the basic fact is 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Put a 0 at the end of that product, you have 60. So 2 times 30 is 60. What basic fact can you use to find the product of 5 times 90? It's A, 5 times 9. Adam says the product of 2 times 50 equals 100. Dan says the product is 1,000. Who's correct? Hmm, think about the basic fact. 2 times 5 is 10. Put a 0 at the end of 10 and it turns into 100. Adam is correct. Jen bought 7 sheets of postage stamps. Each sheet has 20 stamps. How many stamps in all? Let me think. 7 times 2 is 14. Put a 0 at the end of 14 it turns into 140. Hannah has nine spools of ribbon. Each spool has 60 yards of ribbon. How many yards of ribbon in all? Ask yourself, what is nine times six? Nine times six is 54. Put a zero at the end of 54, it's 540. Here's a two-step problem that was tricky. Alex and his family are going to the amusement park. Each adult ticket costs $30, and each child's ticket costs $20. If there are two adults and five children, how much will the tickets cost in all? Pause the video if you need to to solve this. Well, we know there's two adult tickets and each of those are $30. So our first step is 2 times 30. 2 times 30 is 60. Our next step is to find how much the children's tickets cost. Five children, $20 each, 5 times 20. 5 times 20 is 100. So we had $60 as our product from the first step, $100 as our product from the second step. The last step is to add 60 plus 100. $160 in all. That was it for today.